Hey everyone, welcome to Shima Flow Yoga. I'm Jody, and today's practice is all about the legs. And what goes hand in hand with the legs? Balancing of the first chakra, muladhara, which is at the base of the spine. So we're gonna be grounding our bodies, strengthening our legs, and feeling balanced and comfortable overall. So grab your yoga mat and let's get started. Let's get started in a reclined position. We're gonna come into Supta Baddha Konasana, a reclined butterfly, reclined cobbler's pose, couple of names for it. As you come on back, soles of the feet touch, knees open wide, and just rest your arms comfortably. If you want a little stretch in the upper body, this is really nice to reach your arms above your head and get into your shoulders and your chest, your arms a little bit more. Or by your sides, it's perfectly fine as well. Starting to drop into your body here. Shifting your awareness from your external environment to your internal environment. A space of sensation and breath. Guide your attention to the base of the spine. This is the location of our first chakra, Muladhara. The color is red. It's an earth element which grounds us, gives us that feeling of safety and security, confidence. And the body parts associated with this chakra are our legs, our feet, and our back. Let's kick our ujjayi pranayama in. Slight constriction in the back of the throat as you breathe in and breathe out through the nose. Keep the jaw relaxed and we're creating that sensation, vibration, right in that throat center. Bring the knees together. Separate your feet about hip width distance and walk the heels in towards your body. If your arms are above your head, go ahead and bring your arms to your side. Start to press the low back in as you tuck your tailbone umber, under and then peel the spine up into a bridge. Now, as you're lifting up through your hips, keep your feet grounded so you're pushing through the feet and imagine you're squeezing like a yoga block between your thighs. And then as you exhale, one vertebrae at a time, we roll all the way back down. That tailbone is the last thing to lift. Let's do that again. Inhale, rock up. Exhale, lower down. And again, inhale, take it up, tuck the tailbone, peel the spine, and then reverse that direction as you come back down. And just start to find a rhythm now. Inhaling as you rise and exhaling as you lower down. Good. Let's take this last one and hold it up. Once you come up, you can Walk your shoulders in a little bit, interlace the fingers if that's available to you. And then think about pressing down through all four corners of the feet. You might naturally roll to the outside or inside of your feet. So let's find an even foundation. Breathe. And continuing to be completely focused on what you're feeling right now in your body, muscularly. One more inhale and exhale. Let's lower all the way back down and bring your knees to your chest. Okay, we're gonna rock and roll forward and back a few times until you come up to a seated position. So you come up to seat, extend your legs out in front of you. Stretch your arms up above your head. Let's take a really big reach up towards the sky. 
and then exhale forward fold. So as you come forward, you can bend your knees a little bit if you need to, just notice what your body needs in this moment. And if you can't reach your feet, perhaps you have a strap or a long sock or a yoga strap available and you can wrap it around your feet, but you really don't even need that. You can just grab onto the lower part of your legs as well. And feeling that stretch through the legs and through the back. Let's inhale and sit back up. Stretch your arms up above your head. And now this time, take your hands behind you about four inches or so. Fingers point straight forward to your feet or slightly outward and just rock side to side through the hands. It gives you a really nice massage through the, through the hands, through the palms, and also through the wrists. Go ahead. And then roll the shoulders back. Let's start to lift the hips up. Now as you lift the hips up, tailbone tucks under, toes start to press down, gaze comes up above you, or you can drop your head back into Purvottanasana incline plank. Expand and open through your chest. Take one more inhale and then exhale slowly lower all the way down. And let's inhale, sit back up. Stretch your arms above your head. Exhale, forward fold, come on down. Inhale, rise back up. And exhale, plant your hands. Inhale, lift, incline plank, Purvottanasana. Tuck the tailbone, point the toes. And exhale, lower down. So again, follow your breath, start to find a rhythm. Inhale as we rise, and exhale as we fold. Every time going just a little bit deeper, remember we don't force anything, but feeling a little challenged flexibility-wise is okay. And also strength-wise, of course. Good, stretching up just a couple more times, lowering down. Inhale as you rise and lift. And lower down. Let's do one more time. Inhale, reach all the way up and exhale, fold. Look down towards your legs. Inhale, rise up. Take the gaze up. Exhale, plant the hands. And let's lift those hips one last time. And slowly lower down. All right, cross your legs. Roll forward, plant your hands, or just swing your legs behind you. Come right into a plank position. High push-up, right? Feet are about hip-width distance. Your shoulders are slightly forward of your wrists. You can always drop your knees in this plank position. Let's lift the hips up and come right into downward facing dog. Push into your hands, let your chest melt towards your thighs. And we create this space, this length through the hamstrings by lifting that tailbone up and pressing the heels down. Okay, we can also create some deeper sensation by moving your hips right from left to right or pedaling out through the heels so everybody's different you discover what's best for you Good. low belly pulls in lift your pelvic floor right those bathroom muscles exactly where muladhara chakra is as you lift up just like you have to go to the bathroom right but you're holding it in we keep these bandhas the energy locks engaged to seal energy in all right, inhale, up on the toes, bend your knees, exhale, step or jump your feet forward to your hands into a forward fold. Inhale, slide your hands up, lift halfway, and exhale, fold all the way back down into your forward bend. Stand up, use all the space that surrounds you to reach your arms out and up towards the sky, and exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Let's inhale, float your arms above your head. Exhale, hinge forward at your hips, forward fold. Drop the head down, look towards your knees. Inhale, lift halfway, hands to his shins, or your fingertips can graze the mat here, and then exhale, plant your hands, step your left foot back. Crescent lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up. Now as you reach your arms up, tailbone anchors down, and your ribs and your heart lifts as you stretch. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, and just drop down, lower down, that back knee just till it hovers, and then inhale, press through that front foot as you lift, and let's do that again, exhale, lower. So we're just pulsing. Inhale up, keep that low belly in. Exhale lower, we're doing about three pulses. And then inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, plant your hands. Step forward to your forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, step your right leg back. We're coming back into that lunge. Inhale, arms rise, find your balance. 
Exhale, hands to heart, drop down. Knee doesn't touch here though, we keep it just hovering. Take it up, inhale, and exhale, lower down. Inhale, really push through that left foot so you're squeezing through your thigh. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms rise as you lift back up into that lunge, and exhale, forward fold. Step to the top of the mat and fold over. Inhale, lift halfway, and exhale, plant your hands. Let's step to the back of the mat, high push-up position. Again, knees up or down, shoulders slightly in front of the wrist. Bend your elbows, low push-up. Pull the chest forward, flip your feet, upward dog. Wrist should be under your shoulders, tuck your tailbone as you lift your heart. Exhale, down dog, tuck your toes. Good, find your breath. Already that vibration is rising in the body. Good, keep lifting through your pelvic floor. And feel the grounding nature under your hands and your feet. Inhale up on the toes, exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump to your hands. Inhale, lift halfway and exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise, reach all the way up. Good, and exhale, take a forward bend back down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, left foot back. We're gonna pick up the pace just a little bit. Inhale, reach your arms above your head. Exhale, drop the knee, hands to heart. Pulse sit up, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, pulse, really press through that front foot so you're squeezing through those leg muscles. And then inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, forward fold, step forward, drop all the way down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right foot back. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, drop the knee. Inhale, up, pulsing, and lower. So if you already are familiar with the sequence, if you catch on pretty quickly, of course, take this at your own pace. If you want to speed it up a little bit, let's inhale the arms up. Then speed it up. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, hands down, step it back. High to low push up, knees up or down, you decide. You can skip this all together if you want. Let's say you're taking care of your shoulders today. Hold your down dog, then you just skip that part. All right, we come to this wonderful phrase, yata buta, as you are, as it is, and as it should be. So it's all about acceptance. Let's let go of that resistance or fighting what is meant to be. One more time, up on the toes, exhale. Bend your knees, step or jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, lengthen, halfway. Exhale, left foot back. Crescent lunge, inhale, arms up. Let's pulse, exhale, lower. Now you can always do more than three pulses if you want to. That's what's so wonderful about our yoga practice. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, step it back. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, pulse. Good, inhale up and lower down. And up and lower, arms rise, inhale, take it up. Exhale, forward fold, step through. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, vinyasa, high to low push up. Upward dog, lift the heart, downward dog. All right, let's breathe. So heat should be rising a little bit in the body, starting to feel those muscles stretch, that body opening up. Good, inhale up on the toes, bend your knees, exhale, float forward. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Good, bend your knees, sit back, come into chair pose. Big toes touch, tailbone rocks down, Upper arms by your ears, take the gaze up. It can be actually straight forward between your hands all the way up towards the sky. Good, just hold right here. Just feel that subtle movement in the feet as you hold balance. Relax the toes, low belly in, pelvic floor rising. Let's breathe. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, come back down, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway and exhale, plant your hands. Let's send it back again, vinyasa or not. Either way, we meet in downward facing dog. All right, right leg lifts, inhale, yawn, open through those hips, bend the knee, open up even more. 
Start to explore a little bit, move the body. Exhale, square off and step through. Spin the back heel down. Let's take warrior two. So as we take warrior two, sinking into that front leg, press the inside of your knee towards your pinky toe, arms out to a T. Good, keep your bond is engaged. We're gonna exhale. We're gonna move two breaths with each posture here. So exhale to half moon, right hand comes down. Inhale, left leg, left arm lifts. Exhale, step back to warrior two. Inhale, arms up. Let's do that again. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, open up, half moon pose. Find your balance. Exhale, step back. Inhale, arms up. One more time. Exhale, you feel that in that right leg? Inhale, open up. Exhale, step back. Inhale, warrior two. Now exhale to goddess. Just quarter turn open. You can already feel the difference between the right side and the left side. And then inhale to star. Exhale, skandhasana. Take it to the left, bend your knee. Now as you sink down through your hips, straighten that right leg, flex the foot. Get that nice stretch right here through inner thigh and hamstring. Stand up nice and strong, inhale and exhale. Take it to the right. So we're strengthening and stretching. Inhale up, one more time, left. Exhale, skandhasana. Rise up, sky archer, stand up. Now spin your left toes to the back, grab your left wrist and take a side bend, opening up along the side of the body. Good, exhale, turn to the back into a lunge, thunderbolt. So you're gonna lunge, sweep your arms behind you. Pinkies are facing up, okay? And your belly's hovering right over your thigh. We're gonna stand up to tree pose. So stand up, inhale, take your right foot to the inside of your calf. You can use your right hand to guide yourself up. Open that knee out to the side. Exhale, take your right hand down, grab your big toe with your peace fingers, and then inhale, extend your leg out to the right. Now, if you can't reach your toe, just keep your knee bent here and open up through that hip. Exhale, bring the leg forward. And then inhale, keep that leg extended as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, warrior three, sweep your leg behind you, hinge forward at your hips, look down towards the ground, find your balance, and then keep going, inhale, standing splits. Your right leg is gonna lift up towards the sky, look towards your knee, and bring your body, your belly, your chest as close as possible towards your legs. Exhale, Shiva squat, bend your left knee, tuck your right knee behind the left, and then if you can, take your hands to your heart and find balance. Inhale, lightning bolt, step back with the right leg and reach your arms in front of you. We're still low, belly over the thigh, hold it. Four, three, two, and one, drop the hands. Vinyasa, or simply take yourself back to downward facing. Let's try it again. Left leg up, inhale. Yawn open through those hips, bend the knee. Play around a little bit, do whatever you need to do to get nice and deep into sensation. Square the hips off, exhale, and step your foot forward. Spin the back heel flat. Warrior two, arms to a T. Exhale, half moon, plant the left hand, and then inhale, open up through the right side. Very mindfully, with control, step back, exhale, and inhale, rise. Exhale, left hand down, inhale, open it up. Exhale, step back, and inhale, bring your arms to a T. One more time, exhale, and inhale, open. Step it back, exhale, and inhale, arms open. Exhale to goddess, we get nice and low here. Inhale, rise up to star. Let's lunge to the right, skandhasana, exhale, left leg is straight, flex the foot, inhale, strong as we stand up, exhale, to the other side. Stretch it out, inhale, stand up, one more time. Exhale, skandhasana, now sky archer as you stand up, spin your right toes to the front, Grab your right wrist, let's stretch the side body. It feels so good through the back. Exhale, thunderbolt, lunge to the front, sweep your arms behind you. Good, inhale, stand up into tree pose. That left foot comes to the inside of the thigh or your calf, you decide. Exhale, left hand to foot or left hand to knee. And inhale, open out to the side. Utita hasta padagustasana, letter B. Exhale, take it forward to letter A. Inhale, arms reach, letter D. Exhale, warrior, three, hinge forward. Keep going, inhale, hands come to the floor. Left leg elevates to the sky. Shiva squat, bend your knee, tuck the left knee behind the right, 
option to bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, lightning bolt, step back to lunge, stay low, reach your arms for five, four. Try not to rest your torso on your thigh. Two and one, drop down, step it back, vinyasa. Okay. We'll pick up the pace just a little bit here. Inhale, lift the right leg, open up through those hips. Exhale, step it through, warrior two. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, drop the right hand, and then inhale, lift and open into half moon, stacking shoulders and hips. Exhale, step back, and inhale, rise. Exhale, lower, inhale, open. Exhale, step back, and inhale up. Don't worry if you're falling around. This is a lot of balance here. And step it back. All right, exhale, goddess pose. Sink those hips, open the knees. Inhale, star, let's lunge left, skandasana, lower. And inhale up, and take it to the right, exhale. Good, and inhale up, and take it to the left. Exhale, inhale, sky archer, spin the left toes back, stretch through the side body. Thunderbolt, lunge, hover, sweep your arms behind you. Inhale, tree pose, slide the right foot in, place it on the inside of your leg. Exhale, catch the toe or the knee, and inhale, open out to the side. Exhale, bring it to center. Inhale, release and reach your arms to the sky. Everybody can straighten their leg here. Exhale, sweep behind, warrior three. Inhale, keep going, elevate that foot up. Exhale, Shiva squat, getting low. Good, inhale, step back, lightning bolt. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down, vinyasa, or your adventure to down dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Good, exhale, step it through. Warrior two as we rise, arms to a T. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, open, half moon pose. Woo. Exhale, step back, and inhale, arms up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, open. Exhale, warrior two, and inhale, arms up. One more time, exhale. Inhale, open, step it back, exhale, and inhale, two. Exhale, goddess, nice and low, inhale, star. Lunge right, exhale, good, take it up. Lunge left, exhale, take it up, one more time, exhale. Good, sky archer, reach up, open it up. Thunderbolt, lunge, hover, sweep your arms behind you. Tree pose, stand up, find balance. Place your left foot to the inside of your thigh, and exhale, catch the foot or the knee. Inhale, open out to the side. Exhale, forward. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, warrior three. Pause, and then continue. Inhale, standing splits. Shiva squat, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, step back, reach your arms out. Exhale, plant your hands, vinyasa. All right, let's try one more round. Inhale, right leg up, and exhale, step it through. Warrior two, inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, hand down, and inhale, open up. Exhale, step back, inhale, arms to a T. My right side, definitely much better. It balance in the left. Step back and inhale, and it's okay. Right hand down, inhale, open up, and exhale, step back now. Inhale, open up to two. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, star. Exhale, lunge left. Inhale, rise. Lunge right. Inhale, rise. One more time, left. Sky archer, inhale, spin your left toes to the back and stretch your side. Thunderbolt, exhale, lunge, hover, sweep. Tree pose, stand up. Right foot to the inside of your right thigh. Exhale, catch the big toe or knee and inhale, open out to the side. Exhale, take it in front of you. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, warrior three, sweep behind. Inhale, lift the leg up towards the sky. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, lightning bolt, hold it right here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down, take it back. Then yes. All right, last side, everybody. Left leg up. Good, take it forward. Warrior two, inhale. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, open. Exhale, step back. 
inhale rise good do it again two breaths good step it back inhale rise about one more time exhale and inhale good step back inhale arms up exhale goddess star pose inhale lunge right exhale skandasana inhale take it up exhale left inhale rise one more time exhale right sky archer spin the right toes towards the front lunge hover sweep thunderbolt take it behind you rise tree pose rikshasana as you come up point that knee out to the side take that left foot and extend the leg out exhale center inhale reach exhale sweep and fold warrior three now keep going elevate that left leg standing splits good let's take shiva squat exhale and then inhale step back lightning bolt five stay strong here four three two and one drop the hands switch stance one two three four five six seven eight nine ten step back high push-up to low push-up up dog Ooh, down dog all right walk your feet all the way forward to your hands into a standing forward fold and just drop in right here relax your arms maybe catch your elbows bend the knees just a little bit notice what happens in the lower back when you straighten your legs and when you bend your knees and in your hamstrings the sensation even the most subtle bend can change up the dynamic of this posture head is heavy all right roll up one vertebra at a time we're coming all the way up put your arms and then bring your hands down to your side. All right, so step your left foot back about two to three feet. Keep your hips square to the front of the mat, okay? Pull the right hip back, the left hip forward. Okay, all 10 toes facing forward, hips square. Hands come behind the back. Okay, so when you come behind the back, reverse prayer if, you, if you've got this in your practice. Fingers point up, okay? If not, point the fingers down or catch your opposite elbow, so you decide where you wanna take this for your upper body. Hip square, lean back, inhale, and then exhale, fold forward. So we're coming to pyramid pose. Little micro bend in the knee to start as you lower down, drop your head. Pull the right hip back and kind of lift that right sit bone up. And just breathe into this nice stretch. release the hands step your left foot back toe heel your right foot out and then drop your knee down so your hands are on the inside of your right foot we're coming into lizard left hand stays down take your right hand place it right on the inside of your right knee and just kind of push the knee out a little bit you'll roll onto the outside edge of that right foot okay and allow the hips to sink we get a nice stretch here through the front of this left leg okay if you want a little deeper drop onto your elbow here this will get you a little more depth okay you can stay here or you can bend your back knee and grab your left foot now as you pull in this intensifies that stretch in your quadricep and again if your elbows down it might be a little more depth and then lean back a little bit open up through your chest through your shoulder take your gaze up close your eyes whatever feels best for you Good, and then release. Now, we're gonna just sit all the way back. Bring your left foot to the outside of your thigh. You might need to scoot up on your mat just a little bit. Okay, and then let's lean back onto the hands. Okay, you might be able to go deeper on your elbows. If you have a couple cushions you can, or a block, you can support your back, your head, your neck. 
maybe coming all the way down. I like to bend my knee when I come down and just relax into this half saddle pose or half heroes. Great quad stretch. Good. And as we embrace the grounding nature of this practice, this awareness to our first chakra, the energy, helping us feel more calm, more relaxed, more at ease in our bodies and our minds. And then gives us that ability once all of our basic needs are met to really connect more deeply in our relationships with your family, with friends, All right, let's slowly start to rise. Come out the easiest way it is for you. Swing the legs around. Let's come to downward facing. Okay, tuck the toes, lift up. And then walk the feet forward again to your hands back into your forward fold. And stand all the way up. Stretch your arms above your head. Go ahead and bring your arms back to your side. Okay, right foot back this time. Coming back into pyramid, Parjvottanasana, option arms. You decide where to take your arms. Make sure your hips are squared forward and all 10 toes are facing forward. Okay, lean back, inhale, and then exhale, fold. A little micro bend in that left knee to start. You can keep it there or start to straighten out a little bit more. You always can release the arms to the ground if you need to or to your shin. Play with moving the hips just a little bit, lifting up through that left sit bone, pulling the left hip back a little bit more. And then guide yourself into a space of sensation that's working for you today. With every exhalation, bring you just a little deeper. All right, release the hands down. Step the right foot back, toe heel your left foot out, hands on the inside of the foot, and drop the knee. Good. Right hand stays anchored, left hand presses on the inside of your left thigh. Again, you can rest on your hand, you can rest on your elbow. You can also reach back and catch that foot. Okay, a strap can always be used here to catch the foot. And then leaning back a little bit with the chest, opening up. Good. And if it's challenging, embrace the challenge. Don't force it. Feeling a little uncomfortable is a great space to be. Then we can use the breath and practice the art of acceptance and non-reaction. Good, let's go ahead and release. Use your hands to guide you all the way back into a seat. Right foot comes to the outside of the hip. Scoot up a little bit if you need that extra space behind you, and then slowly start your recline. Onto your elbows, use those props, cushions, a block, and release down. Let's slowly start to rise. Again, come out of it the easiest way it is for you. Extend your right leg back out. Both legs come out in front. Let's revisit. Paschimottanasana, or seated forward fold. Stretch up, inhale, and exhale, fold. A little micro bend in your knees if you need it. Good, let's rise back up and take it onto your back. Now as you come onto your back, bend your knees, bring your feet just about as wide as your mat and let's just take a few sways from left to right. All right, 
and then guide your knees to center. Squeeze and curl your head up. And let's take rest now. Extend your legs out, moving into Shavasana. I always encourage five minutes if you have it, press the pause button, take that five minute Shavasana. But if not, you can let this play out for about a minute or so of rest in this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.